Let's have a look at this lease in a bit more detail. This was the clinical. You can see as we enlarge into it, there was some surrounding seborrheic keratosis, but there were no pre-existing lesion. And this is the nodule that had erupted um, in a period of uh, six to seven weeks. Even, you know, macroscopically, you can look at this and you can see the pigmentation within this. The dermatoscopy shows these deep blue clots, well, they're blue-gray in these areas. But you can see the white lines that uh, are very typical in a nodular melanoma. Of course, you'll also see these in BCCs and pyogenic granulomas and the like as well. But in the background of a pink nodule with, uh, with pigmented clots like this, white lines like this are either going to be BCC or uh, melanoma. Next thing you want to have a little look at are the vessels. Now, we can go a little bit uh, closer with this. You're looking to see if there's variability in the vessels. You know, it's very difficult unless you really enlarge these up to uh, see if there's much variability there. But I think you can see these, look at the variability in these vessels here. They're almost like the corkscrew vessels that you sometimes see in melanoma metastasis. We'll look at some of the others uh, as well. Let's take a little look at this one too. You can see these vessels down here, more linear, regular vessels. And as we go over here, There are some curved vessels. I'm looking to see if there's dot vessels. You know, you expect to see a fair, look at, look at the shape of the abnormal shape of the vessels there. You usually see um, dot vessels in a melanotic melanoma as well, but I think it's more common in the flat ones rather than in nodular ones like this. Of course, you'll get looped vessels, you know, with any rapidly growing lesion like this, you'll certainly get uh, looped vessels as well. So the pigmented clots, the white lines, the variability in the vessels, um, it really sums to um, a hypomelanotic nodular melanoma. Thanks very much.